Well, hello, hello, everybody. It's Girl Got Game. Welcome back. We have a little bit more left in true colors. As promised last time, I have gotten Steph's story now. Wavelengths. So, we're going to jump into this DLC. I assume play as our girl Steph. And, um, I think this is set before the events of True Colors. Maybe a year before or something like that. But anyway, I don't know much about anything. So let's just jump in so we can find out what's going on. Have I played Life is Strange Season 1? I have. Twice, actually. <laughs> Did you choose? Always the pertinent question. That's true, I didn't actually have this question for True Colors. I had it for, um... Um, Life is Strange 2. I think when I started that, it asked me, Did you save Arcadia Bay? I've done both. I've saved Arcadia Bay, and I've saved the Bay, Chloe. I guess in my canonical universe, I did save Arcadia Bay. So, yes. What does that affect? Now, now you got me invested. Your actions and decisions will have consequences for Steph and those around her, so choose wisely, as always. I always choose wisely. <laughs> Game. Excuse yourself. Alright, what we doing? We DJing up in this joint? Alright. Cool, cool, cool. Whoa, nice. I like your Phoenix Rising jacket. Pretty cool. Steph! Uh, Gingrich? Is that how you say it? Yeah, that's right. What kinds of radio have you done before? God, let's see. What haven't I done? College radio, small town station, did a couple podcasts, lots of live mixing for my band. Oh, okay. So you know your way around an audio booth. <laughs> yep, nailed it. Not gonna lie, I've hit my own microphone like that before. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Your friend did tell me you were overqualified for this job. I just assumed he was, you know, being Gabe, right? Oh, right. I forgot Gabe got her well, this job. Look, if you can handle it without much supervision, the job's yours. Awesome. Now, part of your responsibilities would be managing the record store. Given all your retail experience on your resume, I'm sure that won't be a problem. Oh, right. Yeah, no problem at all. Great. So your friend said you quit your band to be here. Can I ask why? Sorry. Maybe that's too personal. No, it's fine. Um, no big reason. I'm just trying to... Ooh. She was doing all these things. Um... I'll do this one. You know, take some time to breathe. This seems like a place I can just enjoy being on my own. Well, I hope we live up to expectations. Haven Springs is no Seattle. <laughs> I think I'll love it. Got that small town vibe, though. Okay, so is my whole world this record store? Oh, hello, this okay. angle. The manager left me a task list for my first day. So that's probably around here somewhere. Okay, so that's the last thing I'm gonna look at. <laughs> Hold on. First things first. Can I not I don't have a I don't have a, a journal yet or anything? Oh there we go, okay. I was panicking for nothing. I thought I was pressing the wrong buttons. It's fine. I'm a professional. <gasps> Mikey! We get Mikey right out the gate. Stop my heart. Mikey, look how Oh my goodness, he's grown up. Ah, this is going to be good. This is already going to be excellent. I really hope this is the right number. If the person reading this is Steph. Hey, it's Mikey. Been a minute. Holy shit. Hey, damn, dude. It's been ages. 
How'd you find me? I had a diff number last time we talked. Lol, you're in the alumni directory. Seriously? I know, I thought it was weird too. Man, you donate five bucks one time. Anyway, damn dude, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. You know how it is. Yeah. Actually, no, I have no idea how it is. Lol, no, I guess you don't. I'm still kicking around. Got into grad school, so that's dope. How about you? One, that is dope. Congrats on grad school. Two, lol, no idea. I split. <laughs> oh, for real? Where are you now? Haven Springs, Colorado. What is that, like a suburb of Denver? <laughs> See, that would have been a smart place to move to. No, it's way out in BFE. Long story. Well, if you ever want to tell it, I'm all ears. What does BFE mean? I don't actually know. Um, okay, so go back. Jerry, whoever Jerry is. Um, zoop. Hey, we're doing a show at Snot House on the 25th. Tigans, Riz, Ataco Lanterns, and y'all if you want in. Bring your own beer, Ovs. Uh, shit, you haven't heard. I kind of moved out of Seattle. Oh shit, when? Like, a week ago? Damn, is Izzy with you? Nope. Sorry, dude, I don't think DSM is a thing anymore. Oh yeah, their band was like called Drugstore Makeup or something like that? Damn Fs in chat. <laughs> Thanks, Cherry. And speaking of Izzy... Hey, home safe. I think it would be best if I blocked your number. It's not personal, I just feel like the temptation to text you would be too much. And I want to let you get on with whatever it is you're doing out there. So, bye. <laughs> well, that, that went smooth. Well, at least Gabe's still alive in this universe for now. You've been added to this group SMS conversation by user Gabe Chen. If you believe this was a mistake, please block this number and contact your service provider. Submitted for the approval of the Haven Springs Cool Kids Club, our newest member, Steph Gingrich. Welcome aboard! It's about time this group chat became less of a boys club. Yo, thanks for having me. So, movie night? I'm always down for movie night. Dude, you're always down for nature documentary night. Soon as I want to put on Jurassic Park, you dip. They don't have feathers. Where are their feathers, Gabe? Oh god, not this again. <laughs> he loves his birds, okay? <laughs> I'm down for movie night. When are we doing this? My place, Friday. And I believe it's only fair that we let our newest member pick the movie. What? I didn't agree to that. Too bad, my dude. The deed is done. I'm gonna get real weird with it. Okay, but like, how weird? Real weird. <laughs> Will there be birds? Yo, hey, it's Steph from Drugstore Makeup. What up, bud? So, okay, talked to Izzy and we're in for the gig. It'll be good to have a stop between SLC and Denver. Sick! Can't wait for you guys to play up here. You're gonna love it. Hell yeah. Think you could put me up for a few days? Uh, don't you have... Okay, so that so they went in January and then it's March. Uh, don't you have more tour dates? Shit, did something happen? No, not really. I was just thinking maybe I'd stick around Haven for a little longer than we originally planned. But not both of you. Look, man, can I crash with you or not? Yeah, yeah, of course. If you need to talk, HMU. I can't remember what that stands for at this moment. So I think I can get you a job in town if you're interested. So you can stop couch surfing and get your own place. Dude, maybe we ought to talk about that. Crack open some beers. I'll be there in ten. You know, if it were me, I don't think I'd bet my future on the outcome of a game I sucked that much at. Bro, I am trying to sleep. Whatever, you'll sleep when you're dead. <laughs> About that record store job, though. Ugh, fine, lol. I'll go in for the interview. Thanks, Gabe. You're the coolest friend a girl could have. Thanks, Gabe. Now let me sleep, for fuck's sake. Break a leg, kid. Thanks, man. Seriously, don't even mention it. <laughs> yeah, and if I didn't, you wouldn't stop badgering me. Okay, so I have other things that are going to show up here, but not right now at this juncture. 
What are you supposed to be? It's the mining chicken man. Are you the Haven High mascot? Yeah. Bet I could get these to stick to the bulletin board from here. Well, try it then. Pretty sure the only other time I've used a landline was to call my cell phone. All right, I guess there's no more delay. Eh? I want to leave. I don't want to look at my task list. Great. Yet. Here's the list. Okay. Steph, welcome to your first ship. Sorry I can't be there. Here are the basics. Introduce yourself. Use the computer to play the auto DJ. Read all ads on air. Ad copy is on the desk. It's very unlikely, but some folks might call in. This probably goes without saying, but if someone calls, answer. Good luck, Beatrice. Okay. So turn on the mic, say hello, turn on the auto DJ. So it's probably got records already going. Then read all the ads and then answer the phone if somebody calls. Okay. All right. I can do this. I can be a DJ. Why not? Introduce myself on air. Huh. Let's give this a shot. One of these buttons is the mic switch. Need to turn this on first. Okay. Hello. What's up, Kind Haven listeners? Steph here. Your new DJ at KRCT. Live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And uh, maybe more in the future. We've got some great music coming up for you. So uh, keep it here. You're listening to KRCT. Well, I promised great music. So next up, check out the playlist. Where's the playlist? There we go. Something tells me you and I are going to be seeing a lot of each other. This is Haven's number one indie rock playlist. Pretty sparse. Can I even read anything on it? Not really. Except for upgrade to pro. It'll do, I guess. You'll liven up the place. Hello. Give it time, girl. Give it time. Sorry, computer DJ. <laughs> it's my turn now. Ooh, paint me silver. Fall asleep. Home for oaks. Ah, you know what? Just because it has a lighthouse, <laughs> we're going to do this one. Assuming that's the one she picked. I'm shaking things up already, Gingrich. There's nothing Maybe on there anymore. <laughs> a few more songs today. Now sure. I'm supposed to read some ad copy. That must be around here too. Oh, I see it. Uh... Great song. That new DJ really has the stuff. Let's listen to. Ah, it's a sitting thing, okay. You got any thoughts about <laughs> this sweet country music? I wonder if I can get a purple on that glitter lamp. That'd be pretty nice. Well, she's enjoying it. She's jamming. Just wait till we start uh, looping, you know, as we do. Oh, okay, the record is there. I just realized it's just on the left one, not the right one. All right, I guess I should probably read an ad. It's enough music for two seconds. Um, where is my ad? Okay, she picked the first one. Let's cue that. Sweet. Okay, they want me to riff on these bullet points. So I should probably study them a little first. Talk up the BL. Oh, the Black Lantern. Include the following. 
Authentic atmosphere. Good food. Thanks, Jed. Put to work Colorado.com. Putting Coloradans to work since 2002. Key points. Smooth, intuitive job portal. Licensed career experts match candidates with physicians used by leading companies in technology and entertainment. Free trial with promo code KRCT. Avalanche ice cream. Please don't call us that. Our last name is Anderson. New to downtown Haven Springs. Avalanche ice cream was founded by husband and wife team Sunny and Angela Avalanche. Over 50 flavors, including classics like chocolate, vanilla, etc. And new flavor experiments like candy corn, sweet molasses, and crab rangoon. No. Okay, you know what? I'm taking a picture of this just in case I need it. This is Haven's number one indie rock playlist. Pretty sparse. How do I... How do I do the ad? I was born to hog this mic. Okay. Uh... Okay, they want me to riff on these bullet points. So I should probably study them a little first. Oh, there we go. Read. I, I couldn't see the read ad. Okay, we're good. Um, let's do... Okay, is it going to keep it on the screen or no? Black Lantern first, I guess. And now, a message from one of KRCT's sponsors, the Black Lantern. Here in Haven, the Black Lantern is known for... <laughs> it's bearded proprietor. Uh, historical decor. The historical decor. Where else can you feast under a used pickaxe and a literal bullet hole? That's right, nowhere. And then there's the food. Try the lanterns. Ooh. Yeah, let's do that. Absurdly spicy jalapeno poppers. Only the strongest of stomach dare attempt to conquer Jed's signature app. Stop by the Black Lantern today. And tell them Steph sent you. Okay. That wasn't Oof. so bad. I need a break. I'll just step away from the desk for a sec. Sure, that sounds good. I'm all for stepping away from the I've desk. I've been meaning to fill out my dating app profile. Okay. How long has it been since Steph Cambridge? This is your life. Um... What would you like to add as your tagline? Let's do a lyric. Baby, I'm a bad luck charm. Um, hmm. Yes. Next, gotta out myself as a media snob. It's only fair. What kind of stuff do I want to name drop? Um, hmm. Let's do games. And top it off with a dash of what I'm looking for. What are you looking for? Let's do fun for now. Disaster queer. Moved here on a whim to DJ at a radio station. I'll beat you at dino kart racing. Just want to find a girl I can goof off with. Nice. Oh, man. We already swiping? Maybe not Grace. Bubbles. How mysterious. Okay. Okay, I'll keep swiping for right now. Caitlin looks pretty cute. Okay. Ooh, I like Greta's look. You have some awesome tattoo sleeves. Want to get high and watch anime? Yeah. You're kidding. <laughs> um, what's this? Is this to like edit? No. Can't edit right now. Got some messages. Um, sure. How do you introduce yourself to someone named Bubbles? Um, 
Sure, let's ask. So is Bubbles your given name or do you have an extremely cool story invo involving a foam party and or champagne? Hello, handsome. Handsome, eh? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> You're a bot, aren't you? Yeah. How are you enjoying this weather? Okay, yeah, you are very much a bot. Can't believe I wasted my high-quality foam party and champagne joke on a bot. Mmm, yeah, that's my fave kind of weather. Can't beat bot weather. Totally, love it when the sky is the color of a television tuned to a dead channel. That was a Neuromancer reference. You should read it. After the singularity, obviously. Don't you hate this app, username not found? You should give me your number so we can text. You won't regret it. Uh, you're not even a good bot. Gosh, you're a disaster. Holy shit, you're not even a good bot. Hello, scammer mission control. This one is broken. <laughs> Hello, handsome. Uh, why am I doing this? Okay. Spending an hour entertaining yourself by talking to a bot is cute, but spending two hours is cause for concern. Arguing with a scam bot might be the saddest waste of work hours I've ever engaged in, and I once built a pyramid out of fluorescent tubes. How are you enjoying this weather? Ooh, what does that mean? Okay, so that's how you can view their profile. What's this? Ah, you can- oh, go- that's cute. You ghost them. It's like blocking them. Yeah. Sorry, Bubbles. It's just not meant to be. Let's look at your profile real quick. Just a small town girl. Looking for my knight in shining armor. Not here for hookups. Okay, so she wants something serious. You miss every shot you don't take. Gotcha. Guess I should probably break the ice. Okay. Uh, play it cool. She wants somebody, like, she wants a knight in shining armor. You gotta play the dating app game. Hey, how's your day going? Oh, God. Okay, you're going to think I'm the world's biggest bitch. Um. Uh, why? Uh, I guess that depends on what you say next. So, I swiped right on accident. Oof. Lol. That's hilarious. Please tell me how this happened. Uh, I don't know. I keep checking my settings. It's supposed to show me dudes. Maybe I changed it without meaning to? <laughs> or one of your friends set you up? Um. So why'd you swipe? I mean, I'm obviously a girl. So wait, we've established how I showed up in your feed, but why'd you swipe right on me? You're gonna think this is dumb. Try me. I have a thing about names. Like, I don't even look at people's pics most of the time. I swipe based on whether or not I can imagine introducing a dude to my friends. So I was like, yeah, hey y'all, this is my boyfriend Steph, and it sounded good, and I didn't even check, and ugh. Sorry for the confusion. That's dumb as hell. I mean, it's an interesting way to go about the dating app, I guess. That's actually a really interesting way to use a dating app. I have literally never heard of anyone else using your method. I mean, maybe for good reason, lol. Anyway, you seem really cool. Sorry for the weirdness. <laughs> Swipe carefully. Hey, maybe took a look at the profile pic and pronouns from now on, yeah? <laughs> Stop getting yourself into trouble. Um, okay. And we're out of things there. Well, there's probably work for me to do in the store as well. Probably. I should go take a look at that. I think there was a note for me on the front counter. There's also a message already. Um, hold on. Oh yeah, you. Are you the one we're looking for? 
Oh, we're a chill couple looking for a third. 420 friendly and willing to host. Come have fun with us. Well, I probably shouldn't have swiped. <laughs> Can you look at their profile before swiping? Unicorn hunters. Barking up the wrong tree, I'm afraid. Hey, cutie. We're excited to get to know you. Sorry, who's we? Me and Brayden. One assumes Brayden is like your pet iguana? No, Brayden is my boyfriend. We're looking for a third. Did you read our profile? Um, I did not until just now. Yeah, I guess I swiped without doing dil due diligence. Sorry about that. Ugh, again? Um, did you read mine? Well, that could have gone worse. Okay, but it's not like you read mine either. Yes, we did. Disaster queer. Oh. Sorry. Looks like you've been ghosted. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, not if I re-ghost you in return. Ha ha! Get double ghosted. This is going well. The scariest thing about this book is the menacing overdue notice I get once a year. Menacing from Arcadia Bay Library Stop. Eleanor knows I kill plants. She willingly sent these to their death. Aw, Eleanor. I've had maybe three conversations with Eleanor, and she's already giving me flowers. I can see why Gabe loves her. She's awesome like that. Um, Steph, best of luck in this new adventure. We're all so glad you decided to stick around. Hugs, Eleanor. Sweet. And chocolates, too. That's probably gonna be my dinner. Feel that. Gabe, your girlfriend is too good for you, man. Steph, have fun at the new gig. Don't worry, these chocolates are safe for work. <laughs> Thanks, Char. Uh, what do we got? Analysis of the sonata form and its relation to musical structure and choice? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Who's the heavyweight thumbing through these bad boys? An excellent question. Okay, and nothing over there. Oh, oh man, I'm gonna puke. The hell peed on our rug? Probably your future cat. One day, if you're brave, unselfish, and true, you can be a real guitar. <laughs> I don't know if I believe that. Yeah, this place definitely needs an update. Urban. Next up, put your paws together for Nat King Collie. We really need to get some customers in here. Nat King Collie, I love it. We got lots of country in here. Treat yourself this Valentine's Day. Call Fred's snow removal. What the hell? <laughs> Amazing. When's the last time someone even used this? Someone will use it in the future. Howdy. I mean, who am I kidding? I totally would have gone to this tour. No contact for two years. Then this mysterious package. From Mikey. <laughs> well played, Mikey. Yay, we can open it. Uh, what am I supposed to be doing anyway? Listen to my portable recorder, complete my radio show tasks, read the note. Okay. I probably should do another ad in a second. In a hot second. Mikey, what have you sent me? All my old GM stuff. Ha! Holy shit. Amazing. What was his name? It's like Elamon or something like that, right? Oh, it's a, it's Mikey back. really went for the nostalgia. Guess I should look through everything. My old notebook. Dad must have dug it up in my room and given it to Mikey. Oh my god. This takes me back. Do not read. Warning. Proceeding further will result in character death by sudden and unexplained organ failure. Elamon Cloudbreaker, Male Wizard, Level 14. Bio. Elamon, Wizard of the Third Circle and Honorable Advisor to King Tiberius, has felt the call of magic since childhood. Born to peasant folk in the village of Autumn Graves, Elamon hid his abilities for many years in fear of being outcast by the village eldership. 
As a young man, Elamon grew in boldness, finally leaving Autumn Graves to seek instruction at the legendary Hall of Circles. Now he travels the world in search of knowledge, good company, and a smattering of gold. Has communication, move object, astral projection, and ghostly push. And more? Yeah, there's more. Hold on. Urgle's Acid Blast, Zael's Cataclysmic Cone of Fire, and Gignom... Gignomies? Fire Strike of Flame. Probably horribly mispronounced all of that. Beneath the froth and foam, the villagers of Kendall's Keep know two things better than anyone else on the Widowed Sea. How to catch a stubborn herring with hook and line, and the taste of a stubborn herring over fire. Life was simple there, and a little slow, and hardly dangerous, until the children started to disappear. It started with the brewmaster's son, then the smith's daughter, then the hunter's nephew, then more- Oh, hello. Didn't even realize this phone had an alarm set. What a disaster. Anyway. Then more after. Calls went out to the monster hunter guilds, but not too many folk made it all the way down to Kendall's Keep. <clears throat> Hold on, I got a tickle in my throat. Him. Okay, hopefully that, that helps. A good-hearted Kendall man, one Captain Dennis Salt, sailed to the port of Rye himself and put forth a plea to the guildmaster. It was then at last the call was heard. But would it be enough? The eternal prisoner. No one can say who built the cell in Ashtooth Forest, or how long it stood, or what manner of spell magic the stones. Only that a man lives in the cell, alone and imprisoned, for well over 600 years. He does not remember his name, but too similar to the campaign in Black Hollow. Okay. The perfect city. No city in Kurai compared to the bustling streets and dazzling spires of New Eden. It was not just the wealth, the artistry, or the safety found inside New Eden's walls, no. It was the total absence of everyday evil, disease, hunger, theft. The citizens of New Eden raised perfect families and lived perfect lives. Neighboring kingdoms were desperate to forge alliances, but New Eden stood alone in all its great perfection. The perfection comes at a cost. Ruby's and fire. The locals call it Daughter Flame, but the mountain had older names. Furnace Peak, Crimson Rock, and, if you ask the right wrinkled bookkeeper, Karstas, Elder Throne. It stretched past the clouds and filled the sky with an endless veil of soot. It also brought many travelers to its base, seeking the legendary treasure within. The Goat King Aziz built the vault in forgotten days and left his two undying sons to guard it. No one could remove a single coin, jewel, or crown from the hoard. No one that lived, at least. To die laughing. The royal jester, Thomas Potsby, was not a funny man in life, but in death... Nah, this is dumb. Oh, come on. That sounded kind of promising. So... Need a new Elamon campaign. My old notebook had some ideas in it that might work. Hmm. Beneath the froth and foam, the perfect city. I like rubies and fire, not gonna lie. That sounded dope. What you see, girl. Ah! The dice! The dice! Nice. You ready? <laughs> it would be really fun to reconnect with Mikey. It's been ages. But am I ready to GM a whole campaign again? Fuck yeah, I am. Yeah, that's my girl. You got this. You got this. Mikey still got it. Elamon, though, has seen better days. Elamon's been through a lot. And I don't even know what he got into after what I, I saw. I gifted this to Mikey before I left for Seattle. Wonder if I'd even understand half of it now. Kingdoms and Caverns. Second edition. Command not only armies, but the very fabric of your story. In the next edition of the world-renowned tabletop role-playing experience. And a note. I feel like once I read that note, things are gonna start being trouble, so. Sheet music too? 
This store can't make up its mind. It's got a variety. Not the owner's favorite musical, I take it. You'd be doing the store owner a favor. Backseat bingo! Oof. We need to get this sucker filled up. Yeah. I had this melody in my head all night. Finally got out of bed and recorded it. I wonder how it- Oh, sorry, Steph. I didn't realize you had more to say about it. Not bad. This is actually pretty sick. <laughs> nice. I guess upgrading from humming to actual music is a good next step. What instrument should I play this thing on? A synth. Uh, I like guitar. Let's do that. Yeah, I bet it'll sound cool as a guitar riff. Yeah. Okay. Mostly, I'm totally at peace with my decision to quit the band and stay here. Mostly. Local punk favorite drugstore makeup returns. That's the hard thing about being a two-piece, explained front woman Izzy Insurrection. Damn, what a name. If you lose one person, that's half the band. Denizens of Seattle's punk venues may wonder what happened to the aggressive sets and black lipstick of drugstore makeup after months of silence. Following an unexpected lineup change, Izzy needed to pull together fresh talent. Our new drummer is a punk rock grenade. It's the kick-ass energy we need right now. Okay, so... Drugstore makeup rides again without stuff. From stuff to George. Hello there, yonder. Uh, dad? I don't know what could be more grounded. Hold on. I feel like this is probably the first one and then she replied, yeah. See. Hello there, yonder. Stephanie, hey there, sweets. So how's it out here, out there in Big CO? Hunted any wild elk yet? I've been buried by deadlines lately. Clients submitted feedback at the last minute, asking for their trailer to feel, and I quote, more like a trailer. You got it, boss. Tired watching that show you recommended, but couldn't get past the, uh, oh, tried watching that show you recommended, but couldn't get past the undead nuns. Do you have anything a little more grounded for me? Love, George. Dad, I don't know what could be more grounded than undead nuns. They are literally buried underground. Did you try Shadows and Whiskey yet? It's got all that crime noir you love without the misogyny. <laughs> wow. Love me. P.S. Did you try making the trailer more like a trailer? P.P.S. No dead elk yet, but there's always tomorrow. We can be optimistic. One day, bad clip art is gonna make a comeback. And when that day comes, I'll be ready. Nice. I know you will. If I emptied all these out, I could make a wicked fucking fort. But I'm some drummer's dream of sitting in with the Stones or the Who. I know who I'd rather play with. Aunt Flo and the Lilies. <laughs> Give me Aunt Flo over these dudes any day. Look at this guy's face. <laughs> so good. Summertime lounging. Alright. I need to know who's mass producing these mountain paintings for every store in Haven. Probably Ryan. French cuisine and you? Learn to shred on the guitar in 60 days. Mastering your email? <laughs> Chapter 1. Turning your computer on. I mean, I don't see the lie, honestly. Okay. Feel like I'd get along with this woman. Dear Miss Gingrich, welcome to my store. Lord knows we need a fresh face. My name is Kasia Sobieski, and I'm an old bat in a nursing home in Colorado Springs. 
The Record Traders is very near to my heart, so anything you can do to improve the place, and I do mean anything, is greatly appreciated. Kind regards, Cassia. Some ideas. Better decor. Better music. Fix vent cover in the back. Been falling off for years. Okay. So, if I read that right, Kasha's basically Kasha. giving me carte okay. blanche. Gotcha. I can work with that. Sure. I'll check out those posters. Maybe there's something to spruce up the walls. Okay. Posters. As for music, music. I can at least start by updating the new releases. And, yep, there's the vent. Might as well take a look. Okay. We'll do posters first. Alright. Pick up a poster. I can do that. Posters. If any of these ask me to dance like no one's watching, I'm buying myself a drink. <laughs> you should. Anything good? Got any Firewalk posters in there? One of these might work. Women of Power. Oops. I, I need to know what oops is. This better live up to the mystery. Yeah. Exactly. I'm like... Ooh, I like that. Cool. Very cool. Oh shit. That's coming from inside the booth. Gotta go. My first call. Better go answer it. There's a call. A call is here. Yeah, we're like a band of chicks headed down the road. Okay. Hello? Been all through this country. Played every zip code. The wheels just keep going. Hello? You're on KRCT Radio, and you're talking to Steph. Yo, this the record store? Uh, kind of? Hmm. Depends what you mean by this. What? See, this is a radio booth within a record store. And this voice you're speaking to, me, is a DJ who also works at the record store. <laughs> but this phone call, as I mentioned, is decidedly for the radio follow uh no <laughs> could i just give you my order and you can just like give it to whoever <sighs> yeah why not sweet all right uh, i got goodbye means forever by kim snyder going our separate ways by the seagulls don't let the door hit you by robbie rooster should i be writing these down uh hmm interesting choices what no nothing just who are these for my girlfriend i saw them in her wish list online and decided to surprise her buy hmm. local you know yeah yeah cool yeesh I don't think this kid realizes that his girlfriend is loading up on breakup music I was noticing a theme okay there. Look. Uh, I don't like the bottom one, so... I wonder if your girlfriend might be sending out some signals you're not picking up on? Yeah. You lost me there. <sighs> Alright, dude. Listen. I'm pretty sure your girlfriend's breaking up with you. How the hell would you know that? I'm psychic. Gee, I don't know. <laughs> Guess I'm psychic. Hey. Whatever, lady. Screw this. Thanks for calling KRCT. <laughs> Hello? Uh, let's see. Hey. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Did you get the package I sent you? Hell yeah, let's play. Do it. Dude, it has been way too long. I'm straight up hype about murdering Elamon again. Lol, classic Steph Gingrich. That's me. Okay, I should probably read an ad again. Um, let's do... Put to Work, Colorado. Let's hear from one of our sponsors. PutToWorkColorado.com has been putting Coloradans to work since 2002, using their... Um... 
job or are they career experts? Licensed experts. They also These have job people roles. are like career Sherpas, helping you scale the mountain career of your dreams. Career Sherpas. But Steph, you say, I'm a unique artisan with a highly specialized skill set. No way they'll have a job for me. To which I say, not with that attitude. <laughs> and just for my listeners, get a free trial membership with promo code KRCT. Let's get some uh, something other than country for a little bit. You know we've all been <sighs> much better. Okay, let's go look at the music. Much better. New releases. These new releases are like two years old. Creepy. <laughs> As a former member of drugstore makeup, I'm not in a position to knock anyone's band name. <laughs> Oops. If we don't have new releases, what do we have? Wow. Um, oh, come on. You can't go wrong with 90s music. Give me my Backstreet Boys, my NSYNC. <laughs> yes, boy bands and girl groups, let's go! I want it it's that way. It's back time. And Backstreet's back, There's all right? There's gotta be some 90s child out there looking for a nostalgia fix. It's me, I'm the 90s child. Hello. All right, let's uh, take a look at this vent. All those years of high school set design were preparing me for this moment. Truth. Oh, it just needs some screws. Oh my god, that animal's living in the walls. It's a cat. You just gotta catch it. Hey, you in there. I'm coming back tomorrow with Febreze and a broom. So consider yourself warned. <laughs> Love it. Hello. Hold on, Vent. The phone needs me again. Hello. KRCT, Steph here. Hey, are you the psychic? Really? Yeah. That's oh my her. god. You predicted I was going to dump Danny before I did it, right? So you're psychic. Uh, it was obvious. Sorry, no. <laughs> it was your music. You were apparently shopping for breakup records. No, I was shopping for acoustic guitar records because <laughs> I'm learning the guitar. Oh. But you knew what I was really feeling, hence psychic. Ah. Okay, so my best friend for basically my whole life, Tara, and I both got into CU, but then I got into UC, which is my dream school. I know I'm always supposed to follow my dreams, but I'm so scared of what will happen if I go to school without Tara. She's my rock. That's... Are you sure you want to talk about this with me? <laughs> Didn't we just go over this? Are you going to help me or not? Oof. Okay. Just give me a second. What am I doing? Damn. How do I tell this girl's future? <laughs> Rolling the right. dice. No what way. What am I going to tell this girl? 18, huh? Oof. That's a strong roll. What does so, that mean, though? What's my prediction? Yeah, she's gonna go anyway. So let's say it's the stars are looking good for them to be still good friends. Okay, I think I've got something for you. Ready? Yes. Okay, it's tough at first. No one likes long distance relationships. <sighs> but 
then you and Tara discover something that keeps you connected. Reality television? Uh, online gaming. The wonderful world of online gaming. Like Mario? <laughs> I don't really play video games. Whee! That's why you dip your toe in slowly. Maybe a board game, something retro. But before long, you and Tara are teaming up to pwn noobs, grind gear, and wreck even the toughest raids. Yeah, go. I don't know what that means, but if it's with Tara, I'm sure it'll be fun. Yes. All right. That's all I got. Go uh, forth, gamers. I'm not sure, but it was really fun. Thanks, Steph. Good luck with your guy. Let's just get our last one. Now we've got all the music on here. Nice. And? I used to feel like something was missing if I wasn't rolling this around in my hand. Smolder can't be any worse of a wingman than Gabe. It's called Smolder? Is that what the app's called? Um, ads. No total disaster so far. Just gotta make sure I read them all. Avalanche. Here's a new local business to get excited about. Avalanche ice cream in downtown Haven Springs. The variety of flavors they've got is gonna blow your freaking mind. Definitely experiments. You think I'm kidding? These guys have, and I hope you're sitting down, crab rangoon <laughs> flavor ice cream. Not the crab cream. rangoon, that was like the one Just thing saying. not to mention. So come on <laughs> down to Avalanche Ice Cream and get yourself a scoop from our good pals. I'll at least do Mr. and Mrs. Anderson. Sonny and Angela Anderson, the best neighbors a hungry DJ could ask for. Oh, got a message. Um, break a leg, kid. Blah, blah, blah. Yo, you're doing great. Give me a call toward the end of your shift for the debrief. Thanks. I'll just finish up whatever I want to do and then call Gabe. Hey, thanks, man. We'll do. Okay. Um... I think we played all the music. Let's just leave for a second. And then we'll give Gabe a call. Somehow. Is there anything I have to do? With Eventually, the I'll need to get back in the booth. I just left the booth. Okay, so I can't do anything. Am I done with my tasks? I am. I'm done with my tasks. Can I call him from here? I'll just finish up whatever I want to do, no. and then call Gabe. I guess I have to do that in the booth. Okay. I think I think we're good. Then. Never thought I'd be so excited about a desk job. Oh, be careful what you're leaning on, girl. Oh my god, oh my god. Am I caller number 12? Dude, this job you got me? It's great. Turns out it's like four jobs simultaneously. And I'm qualified for maybe three quarters of one? Yeah, yeah, did I let you convince me to bullshit my way through that interview? Uh, you know you're on the air, right? Oh god, why? Oh, first day, first day, no! It was going so well. <laughs> oh, avoid situations like these. <laughs> Put to work Colorado.com. <laughs> Elevate your job prospects today. I mean, that was a pretty good recovery. Rough first day, huh? Buddy. 